we were successful in applying for a NSERC Innovation Enhancement Grant, which is an applied research grant for colleges, and it gives them the ability to build applied research capacity within the college institution and also work with community partners to help solve some sort of problem for industry. When aquaculture sites reach peak biomass, so they've, grow, they've got their maximum weight of fish that are on site, within 30 days they have to do uh, monitoring of the benthic community as part of their license. Our company it does a vast majority of that on the coast. So this partnership was a cooperation of the aquaculture industry here in BC. So it involved not only my company, Greek Seafood, but also Marine Harvest, Creative Salmon, and also Surmap Canada. So the four aquaculture companies. And always we want to be continually improving how we meet the regulations or even exceed them. And, and this partnership with North Island College was a really good uh, example of that. So the research is about salmon aquaculture uh, farms and specifically the, the bottom underneath the farms. And we have two different bottom types, there's a soft substrate and a hard substrate. For soft bottom sites or soft substrate, we get a grab of the sediment off the ocean bottom, we bring it to the surface so we can physically test things about the sediment itself. On a hard bottom site where we can't get a grab of sediment, um, we're relying on a video of this ocean bottom and then using some sort of indicator to tell us that it's been impacted or hasn't been impacted or there's been additional organic material deposited on the bottom. We're looking actually at bacteria. So there's a white bacteria that forms this white mat. It gets large enough that it forms this mat that's actually visible with the naked eye, as well as these little tiny worms that start to aggregate and clump all together and form this massive gel and worms. And if we see a certain level of it, then it's usually telling us, it's indicating to us that there's something happening to the environment down there and that we need to monitor it closely and potentially hold back on you know, adding more fish to the site and get the environment back to what it should be. We were actually able to develop a sampling device that is attached to our little robotic vehicle that's down at the bottom of the ocean and just scrape the surface of the rock and be able to collect some of the sediment. We were able to actually sample the bottom and bring it up, which was the first time that's been accomplished on a hard substrate. My job was to take the samples of the polychaetes that we got and to extract the DNA, amplify it with PCR, which is polymerase chain reaction, and then to analyze those uh, DNA sequences. And by running those sequences through a database, we can determine what uh, organisms that they match and we can find out to the species level or and even deeper, like what actual worms we have there. And from there, we can kind of tell what the environment is telling us and sort of see like what's actually going on. We were actually able to realize that sometimes when we would observe a mat, that there actually wasn't any living bacteria in there anymore. So that the bacteria had at one point lived and were no longer living anymore. And sometimes we would also observe the substrate and take a sample where there wasn't a white mat and when you actually looked at it under the microscope, there was living bacteria. So this brings into a lot of questions as to whether or not using just a visual survey method is sufficient to really understand what's happening to the environment. The information that we got from working with North Island College and, and through the project um, gives myself and our staff a much better understanding of where it grows and why it grows there. I find the staff and the faculty at North Island College to actually to be very responsive and to be very willing to incorporate the questions that we have at the research level, at the applied research level, into their activity. So we did find their team to be very uh, willing to respond to uh, our research questions. There is a need for research in smaller communities and industry is really appreciative of gaining the expertise and actually just learning about the expertise. And I think Cardi does a great job of letting industry and letting community members know that people are present at the college that can do research and have different interests and expertise that can be brought forward to them and that collaborations can be made.